Hello guys, hello people. Welcome back to this wonderful platform, MC Potoski Talk Show, here on Facebook and also on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, welcome back to this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. So, guys, I bring you guys the latest happening today. Just watch the video and drop your comment at the comment section what you think about this video. But before we dive into this video, look at the top here. If it's your first time on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and put on the bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube. I want this video to go viral. So guys, just watch the video, and I will be right back. God begin to speak to me. God said to me that Pastor John Stephen, the ego prophet of the nations, I answer. He began to show me what is going to happen before 20 9 of May 2020 terror. But before I will release the prophecy, pay attention to watch this video to the end and share it to others. Hear me clear. My name is Apostle John Stephen, the ego prophet of the nations of Ghana. Power, no be powder. Of course, you know, for power, I carry power. This prophecy I'm about to release right now. Is about what the Lord showed to me. But before I will release the prophecy, I would like you to pay attention and watch the prophecy I give on January 1st. So that you can see what is called prophecy confirmed. Because the Bible said in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7, God cannot do anything without revealing it to his servant. God bless you. Pay attention and watch this video. Number 8 prophecy. Uh -huh. Lord said to me, the governor of the nation of a bony state, uh -huh. the person that is going to win a bony state governorship uh -huh. election. Yes, sir. I am showing in the realm of the spirit uh -huh. a man called Professor Odo uh -huh. in front uh -huh. of the governorship election. In front. But something happened. But something happened. Something happened. happened. Hmm. In the realm of the spirit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Power. I saw someone else. Uh -huh. In the realm of the spirit. Okay. By power. By power. He take it out ah. from the governor. Uh. Otherwise, he would have been the one. Did you hear that? Called Professor Odo. It's called Professor Odo. Uh -huh. In a point state. Uh -huh. Number nine, Prophet. Now, did you hear that now? Did you watch that prophecy? That was on January 1st. Go and watch it on my page. The, my name on face on YouTube is called Apostle John Stephen, the Ego Prophet. Now let me show you what happened to Professor Odo. On that was on um, 19th of February, 2023. After my prophecy, because the reason I'm showing you this is for you to know that in life you need a prophet. You need a man that hear the voice of God. Now here, watch what happened to Professor Odo. Oh, uh to reach me. He's a nice man. Did you hear this? Now, watch this. Watch what happened to Professor Odo. Are you watching it? Uh -huh. Watch this. In the house of local government. Are you seeing it? After my prophecy. You can see right now. Uh-huh. APC vehicle. Uh-huh. APC senators. Okay. Huh? Are you hearing this? You do see what's happened now to a place called Opposi when the Apoga candidate of governorship Ebony, Professor Bernard Odo. I give a prophecy on January. I said I am suing him in front, but there is something that is going to happen that will make him not to win to be the governor. Let him so that let him reach me so that I can use my power. I remove that danger. Of course, you know, for power, I carry power. Now, when I give that prophecy, so many of you was like, eh, ego prophet, I about this. Now, hear me. 
in life for this new generation. I am the Elijah and I am the Elisha. But before I will give the prophecy, I want you now to watch what I said about a man called Sneto Ike Kuremara. Now they have put him in prison. But to watch this prophecy, I want to show you. Because what I want to say now, the whole, just watch this. Now watch the prophecy I give about Senator Ike Kuremado. Watch this. Tell the wife of Senator Ike Kuremado to call me. I have the husband number. Uh -huh. I'm calling the number is not connecting. Are you the hearing that? Hmm. They have issue on court. Uh -huh. They said they're going to release him on October 2022. Uh -huh. If they did not reach me hmm. to tell them what the Lord said, they uh -huh. will not be released. Are you hearing that? You know He will use the power and he. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Now, did you hear that? Go and watch that prophecy on my page. That prophecy was given on 13th of September 2022. That prophecy was given on. 13th of September 2022. When I give that prophecy, I say, Tell Senator Ike Kurema, the wife of Senator Ike Kurema, to reach me, that I am not sure when the husband is going to be released on October. That was 2022. And the Catholic Church in Diocese Enugu, they called me up, Banco Catholic Diocese, they called my number. They were like, Are you prophet? Are you God? By the way, I have start fasting and prayer to release him. Hear me. There is difference between prayer and the difference between power. What I carry is power. When Jesus went to resurrect a man who called Lazarus from grave, what Jesus did was not prayer. Jesus used power. When Moses was leading Israelites for them to cross the Red Sea, what Moses used was not prayer, it was power. God asked Moses in the book of in the book of um, Exodus chapter 14 verse 21 and he said throw away the staff on your hand and he did it and the sea was divided that is power that is why you need the man that carry power so hear me clear and hear me well on this prophecy I went to release today's date is 6th of April 2023 but before we release the prophecy don't forget, I don't chat on Facebook. I don't reply any message on Facebook. Whoever that is calling you on Facebook, I am not the one. Many people are using my name to scam people on Facebook. They will chat you with my name, with my picture. You will think you are chatting me. I don't have Facebook. I only have church page on, on Facebook page. That is Apostle John Stephen, the ego prophet, and I can never chat you. Hear me clear and hear me well. I only have one WhatsApp prayer line. The reason I went to call this phone number so that if you anybody give you any other number is not me. I only have this phone number I went to call now. And if you call this number, my church secretary will pick your call. Her name is called Evangelist Promise. When Evangelist Promise will pick your call, she will pray for you. If you want to speak with me, she will tell you what to do. And once you do it, you will speak with me. So this is my WhatsApp phone number. Plus 234-7085. 932257. I repeat, this is my WhatsApp prayer line. Plus 234 70 When you want me to pray for you, or you want me to prophesy to your life, or you want me to speak with you and tell you the solution about your life. And use the power I have to paralyze every power that is fighting your breakthrough. Call my WhatsApp prayer line. When you call my number, Evangelist Promise will pick your call. Tell her that you want to speak with me. She will tell you what to do. And once she tell you what to do, once you do it, you will speak with me. Did you hear me clear? Now, as I was saying about Sneto Ike Kureman, many of you is seeing what is going through now in London. It is a pity that... He kept remember have a man like Ego Prophet with the power God has given to me. I am from a Bonny State and I'm from a place called Isel Local Government in Isa in a Bonny State. I'm from a Isa and I'm from a Bonny State in Igbo Land. 
Hear me clear and hear me well. It is a pity that someone like that now we are losing him now is in London. It's a pity. We love Ike Premado, despite whatever. Yeah, we know that he's a politician, but we don't want to lose them. If we lose them, to lose one, lose two, lose three, ah, it's a bad thing. No. That is why God has raised a prophet. But many of you, he saying, hey, go prophet, you are too proud, you are too this. If you say, I am proud, that means there is a demon that is disturbing you. Because if you have the spirit of God in you, you will look at me, a young man like this, that will give a prophecy. I will give date, I will give time, I will measure what will happen, and I will say how well, it will happen, and it must happen like that. It's a gift to my mother's womb. For power, I carry power. Now hear me. Let me show, because of this prophecy I want to give, let me show you the prophecy I gave last year. About a man called Senator Ifanyo, but watch this prophecy. Watch this video. The prophecy I give that was on 30th of August 2022 about Senator Ifanyo, but go to my page and watch it now. But to hear this because I want to tell you what God said is going to happen. Just watch this prophecy. Ifanyo, to reach me, Senator Ifanyo, to reach me. Uh -huh. The number that I give to me. To reach you, that was three days ago, was your PA number. Mm -hmm. I need your number direct. This letter, if I know back to reach me, okay. tell you what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. This letter, if I know back, I am the mouthpiece hmm. of this new generation. Okay. I am the Elijah and Elijah of this power. new generation. I am hmm. the Joshua and Caleb. I must lead my people. For power, I go carry power. This is a gift. It's not I see, I saw. The number they give to me is his PA number. Uh -huh. I need his direct number. Okay. This letter, if I'm about to reach me, uh -huh. I have a urgent message. Uh -huh. Today's date is 30th of August uh -huh. 2022. Uh -huh. What I'm seeing when it happened, don't be like a good prophet to speak about it. Uh -huh. I'm seeing danger. God uh -huh. have mercy. This letter, if I'm about mercy, we speak for you. Uh -huh. You know me when I speak. Okay now, mm. okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Today's date is mm -hmm. 30th of August mm -hmm. 2022. This letter, a family who back to reach God me. He's is a nice man. Mm. God loves him. He's a nice and what man. the enemy plan, God said that can never be. Okay. I have important message to give to him. I love him so much. He's one and blessed. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Whatever I watch me from, power will be powder. is great for Again, uh, did you hear that? Did you hear the prophecy now? Now, watch and see what happened to Sinati Fanyo. But after my prophecy, that was on 30th of um, 30th of uh, August 2022. Now, watch what happened to Sinati Fanyo. But that was, this is 11th of September. This is 11th of September 2020. Two. About two weeks after my prophecy that time, this happened to Ifanyo Ba. Did you see this? Go and watch it on my page. Go and watch it. It's not I see, I saw. He's there. He's a gift. When I speak, it must take a place. Are you seeing it? I don't want to show you people that died because of Facebook people. They don't like to show where people died. Now, let me tell you. In life, prophecy is important and prophet is needed hear me and hear me well you need a man that hear the voice of god when i give this prophecy about snakey but i told him reach me let me tell you what god is saying but nevertheless i will pray for you mercy will speak though i see it will happen but god will save you what happened did you see it it come to pass when i speak about the snappy cake with a mother i told the wife let, let the wife reach me what i'm seeing what is happening today the snappy cake with a mother people the catholic church in you know, the uncle they say they have started praying for him with fasting and prayer they call my number i said this is not issue of fasting and prayer this is your power I carry power to fight the battle and to liberate him and i will give that and the cake with will be released that is why God raised a young man like me from Igbo land. God listed a Zion in Israel. The reason why Jesus was born in a place called Nazareth, people did not expect it. That is why I am born in a place called Ezra in a Bonny state. A place nobody expected to have a man like me that will carry this kind of power. Of course, you know, for power, I carry power. 
Now, hear me clear and hear me well. Because I want to tell you what God said is going to happen. Enough is enough. Number one prophecy. The Lord said, enough is enough of all this pastor, this prophet, this bishop, this reverend father, pope. Since they have been killing Nigerian youth, Pope have never talked about it. Pope have never talked about it. And yet you are still buying chaplet. You are still carrying chaplet. Who do this to egos? I know you that is watching this video. You may come on the comment section to type something. Eh, you are proud. Eh, you are this. If you type anything wrong, you die with kidney failure. You know me. You know for power, I carry power. It is only a demon can watch me as a young man. I denied myself pleasure. I carry the gospel of Christ because of I went to liberate this new generation. God called me for my mother. My mother carried me 30 months. That is power. And for me to do this work, and you'll be like, eh, you are doing this. You are, listen and hear me clear. If you have the spirit of God in you, you will know that. God choose me for a purpose for this new generation. Look at when I give a prophecy about this, not your back. Didn't I say it? I am the Elijah, I am the Elisha. And that time many of you were saying, Are you God? Are you God? What happened? Now, hear me clear and hear me well. This church in I told the whole world before, and I'm repeating it again. Today's date is 6th of April 2023. There is no church in Nigeria. There is no church in Ghana. There is no church in South Africa. All of them is a scam. Because the Bible said in the book of in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 13. The Bible said Matthew 21 verse 13. The house of God is the house of prayer, not the house of thief. Now, Tell me where in the Bible that the Bible said you should be counting chaplet, you should buy chaplet. Where is it in the Bible that the Bible said you should buy bangle? Where is it in the Bible that the Bible said you should go to pull up beside her and wash yourself in the church? Where church? Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate. And this is where I'll be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, Please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel, you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.